Alright guys, full disclaimer, this video is only meant for the people looking to improve for themselves, not to flex on their friends. If you're just watching this video to learn how to flex on your friends a little bit better, you're just better off watching another video on how that's a complete waste of time. Also, give everything on this list at least one try. Whatever doesn't work for you, go ahead and change it. Alright, now that that's out of the way, most people come into my chat or YouTube comments asking, how do you warm up? What's your routine? It's honestly different for everyone, but 99% of the time, we just play T-Hunt. That's literally it. When people go to other Twitch chats, the streamer just tells them T-Hunt, and that's it. They don't elaborate anymore on the topic, they just say T-Hunt. And for some people, that leaves them playing T-Hunt for hours every day, not playing it correctly. They play T-Hunt specifically to win the T-Hunt. They don't play the T-Hunt to improve their aim. So some tips on playing T-Hunt correctly. Number one, do not drone. Please do not drone. You're not trying to win the T-Hunt. You're trying to warm up. Just because some streamers drone in T-Hunt doesn't mean it's good for you. Now, I get it. A lot of times, for some people, they get on T-Hunt. They play a couple casual games and a couple ranked games, but they're just not in the mood. But here's what I do to get in the mood. I step away, go get something to eat, come back, and play T-Hunt with music blasting. Some of the songs that I've listened to, I'll leave in the description. But if you don't like that music, that's completely fine. You should only be listening to the music that hypes you up. Now, one crucial step when listening to music and playing T-Hunt, don't shoot to the beat. I know it's hard at the beginning and you really want to start shooting to the beat of the song. That is not what you should be doing because shooting to the beat of the song has a similar effect to backseat gaming. While shooting to the beat of a song, you're letting that dictate how you warm up. And that brings me to another crucial point. Do not try and care about how you look while warming up. Look at it this way. If you just focus on mimicking someone else's playstyle, your own skill will be capped and you'll never be better than that person. I've said this in a previous video and I'll say it again, it's just one of those things that'll really mess with your head. Now some people do tell me that they get in slumps because they don't know how to warm up, they play amazing in Terrorist Hunt, but they play like a bot in Ranked, and they don't understand why, but I do. It is because you are self-conscious on how you look to other players. This is what you gotta do. Play a few T-Hunts and go play casual. Do not have the mindset that those players matter to your self-improvement. They do not. As far as you're concerned, they're just advanced T-Hunt bots. Which brings me to my next tip. Don't settle for anything but a headshot. There are two different mindsets to just play competitive games in general. The first mindset is when you're warming up, not settling for anything other than a headshot. The second mindset in an actual game is when you're just trying to win. Let your skill carry over from T-Hunt and make you confident in future ranked games. Now another tip for getting out of slumps, you have to adopt the mindset that rank does not matter. Your friends might tell you rank does matter, and they might flex on you that their rank is higher than yours. Please, please, do not let them tell you that rank matters. Focus on improving yourself. Just think of it this way. Siege is a learning experience. Everyone learns new things every day. Sometimes, learning new things every day can cost you a few rounds, and that can cost you games. So if that is how rank works, how can you possibly say that that style of play matters? Now, bonus tip. If you're a streamer, or if you're trying to stream, but you have a slightly different warm-up routine from other people, and they want to judge you and call you bad. Just don't play T-Hunt on stream. I, I learned that the hard way. Just do not play T-Hunt on stream. If you don't know what goal to set for T-Hunt, set this goal. Consistently be able to flick back and forth between Terrace and T-Hunt on single fire. So just one tap, flick to another one, just back and forth. But make it feel like a continuous motion. You're not trying to stop in between flicks. Make it a singular motion. And by the way, another bonus tip. If you're wondering what maps to play T-Hunt on, I just play House and Border. That's it. If you don't want to play against Bombers, play on Hereford. You don't have to play Realistic. Normal is fine as long as you play it correctly and you're just trying to warm up your aim. Say you just wake up and your hands are really stiff and you just feel really slow. Try some hand stretches. I'll leave a link to a video on hand stretches because a lot of League players, I don't know if you guys play League, but everyone spams their keys. They have to stretch their hands. But let's say your hands are fine. They're not stiff, they're just freezing, and that's what's making you slow. The only efficient solution that I found was going to Bed Bath & Beyond and getting a space heater for like 40 bucks. Just trust me, don't wash them in warm water. Don't sit on them. Because how basic science works, when you're cold, when the room is cold that you're in, your body will pull blood away from your limbs closer to the center of your body just to keep you alive. And the first to suffer are your feet and your hands. Therefore, keeping them in like warm water, getting a hand heater, is as temporary as wiping the sweat off the inside of your goggles if you're out in the middle of a desert. But yeah, I think I've covered everything on warming up. Please let me know in the comment section what kind of informal video you want me to make. I've only made this and three others. Those three others will be linked in the description. Go watch those if you haven't already. But if I haven't covered anything specifically, let me know and I'll look into it. But yeah, that's all I got. I hope you guys learned something. 
If you see me at the Invitationals, say hi. And yeah, thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.